Hello and welcome back. I am the Herdsman and welcome to another video where today we are starting our brand new series that we are going to do a lot of videos on and it is the Michigan farming map. Figured it's a suitable map to play on since well, I live in Michigan and looking at this farm, I'm liking the American style buildings here. So we're going to rock this map for probably oh, I don't know, a couple months. And, yeah, I am just going to let everybody know, I do have a new microphone coming soon. This microphone that I'm using I know is terrible, so I'm getting a very good microphone. And once I get it, I'm going to stay on a daily video schedule. So we're probably going to be on this map every day, or like three days a week do this map, and then another four days do a different one, or even switch it up with Minecraft or anything. But let's jump right into it. This is the Michigan farming map. Don't know if you start with equipment. I highly doubt it. Yeah, no equipment. Started out with 1.2 million, and we probably need to buy some land, too. They probably want us to buy this. Oh, why do they always send the farmyard separate? That's stupid. That's a million dollars right there, just for those two tracts of land. What if we do that and field eight? What is this? It's like a driveway here. Huh. That's 200,000. 300,000. Hmm. I don't want a long drive from the farm. That's why I'm looking at field 8 or 6 or 7. Seven's a little on the expensive side, I think. Well, it's more than s 6 is more than that. I don't want to spend $800,000 right off the bat. I know for sure we got to get that. I'm not messing around with landscaping in this video. I think we might go for field 9. Well, that's pretty suitable. It's not too expensive either. So now we're going to go straight into the bank and borrow a bunch of money. Because I know how much equipment costs. And we didn't buy some little measly field. It is a very big field. See how much we can borrow. 500,000? Not bad. Not too realistic, though. You could borrow a lot more than that in real life. And you could, like, get money from the government. Oh, great. What is in here? What is this? Oh, shoot. Potatoes. Alright. We're gonna get a plow. Plow this under. Because I am not. I repeat, not. Well, hmm really don't want to spend that much money on equipment right off the bat. It's ready. Ooh, I'm going to turn weeds off just for now. I'll turn them back on later. I don't like messing around with beginning crops and then having to... Yeah. Let's harvest this field, sell everything off of it, and maybe once we get that equipment and get... The crop sold will have enough money to buy another tract of land. Alright, so probably going to run two or three potato harvesters, and we're definitely going to lease them. So we got one, two, three. That's what we'll start out with. We're going to need tractor. Do we want tractor or semi? Hmm. Do we have... What was that in? That was sugar cane. Do these hold sugar beets? I'm not thinking so. Dang it. That would that would be perfect if we could get even like one of those. But it no, I'm not thinking they hold sugar potatoes or whatever we're hauling. Another thing would be in here probably if there was something, which there's not so we gotta go into a regular trailer and if we wanted to we'd have to transfer it from a trailer to a semi don't really want to do that i think we'll get this and that says grain but it holds forty five thousand liters it's a heck of a lot more than 18. So we're going to buy this one too. And that's not going to hold very much. We are going to have to do something in the long run here. 
Um, we want something fast. We don't want something slow. So I think we'll go with the fast track. It's perfectly fine. And yeah, we are gonna need some more cash after this. Most indefinitely. Where are we at? Okay, not too far away. That's not bad. Is field nine right time you don't? Yeah, somewhat. So let's get that off here. Wait, where are we? We gotta go left and then right. Yeah, left and then right. Alright, let's go. Now, this isn't really the start I had for this map. Starting off harvesting potatoes, but you gotta do what you gotta do to make a buck. And we're gonna have to make a lot of bucks in this map. So hopefully we're doing this right. If not, probably next week you will see us starting over again. We are not on Start From Scratch. We are on, uh... It's not New Farmer. It's Farm Manager. Yep. We are on Farm Manager. So medium difficulty. Not too bad. And I never noticed this before, but you go in here and come over here and there is an economy difficulty. Which affects the buying and selling prices and also the revenue of contracts. I haven't done any contracts in this game, so we might try some. We might. Is this my field right here? Yes, it is. So X. We'll get this thing unfolded right away. First thing I'm going to do is check and see if these are collisioned. Yes, they are. Okay, that is going to be terrible. Field is longer that way. We're going to get this guy started for headlands. Get some headlands on the field. Yes, I do have access to this land. Now shut up. Alright. I paid a ton of money for this land. And that's not a good start. We're going to have to go down to the other end. Obviously. Turn off our lights and go down there. And it's still not letting us travel much faster. So we're going to run down here real quick. And get our potato harvester started. Hopefully it will clear those telephone poles once we get going here. And it's going to be very interesting. Definitely, definitely not the start I had in mind. Oh man, oh, there's a ton of telephone poles. Just like in Michigan. Telephone poles literally everywhere. So, I'm going to try and get this corner to where hired workers won't get stuck here. Hopefully I'll do what I want to without screwing anything up and ending up with a bad video. But I don't think we're going to go too bad on this series. Once I get daily videos going, I hope to grow my channel drastically. That would be very nice. Um, alright, alright. And we got to where we can clear that post. Pole, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to just spin through here and hire a worker right there. And let him take over. Yeah, he lost that one row, but oh well. Four rows is still a lot of potatoes coming in. Oh, I still got automatic engine start on. Turn that off. I don't like it. So this guy is hopefully going to be... <coughs> Sorry about that. Hopefully this guy's going to be starting in the middle of the field. And then we'll start the next guy nets to this guy. And they'll run from the middle out. While the third guy's working on opening up the field. Which will probably be us running it and a hired worker while we're dumping the wagon. Everything like that. So, yeah. So we're definitely starting off this map a lot different than I anticipated driving half a million dollar machines down to the field 
that I leased for a quarter of a hundred thousand dollars definitely different definitely definitely different so I'm gonna go for a 25 minute episode hopefully um, I don't know what I actually don't have a way to tell time right now um, if there's a short pause in the video that means I went off the game to uh, check and see how long I've been recording it won't like go black or nothing it'll just be the games on yep, and he didn't like that or that's because I started going there alrighty so try and find the middle of this field which is right about maybe it'd be better starting on the other side but it's right in here so whoa doesn't turn like the old ones the old ones had rear wheel steer. Don't understand why they put front wheel steer on these ones. Grimmy did a terrible job on that. But we're gonna hire this dude right here. And he didn't like that. Unfold it again, you dumb hired worker. Alrighty, let's get rolling then. Hopefully he gets to a point where he wants to accept the job. There we go. I knew we could trust him. Right, let's get back over to this guy. Get him rolling again, because we need some headlands on this field. We're going to die if we have to run into power poles every single time we turn around. That would be nothing but annoying. Alright, so just run a little distance down here. Probably going to fill this up before we even get the hired worker. But, not a big deal. Probably cut a lot of these trees down eventually once we buy the forest. We'll run right over here a little ways more. We might end up just dumping potatoes on the ground for now and leasing a truck later, but... Hopefully I can get this machine down there before we need to unload anybody. Highly doubt it. Highly, highly doubt it. Like, he's full now. Yeah, That didn't work. That did not work. I'm one for being realistic, but there is a mod out here for these potato harvesters that makes them go like 15 mile an hour harvesting, and they hold like 100,000 liters. That would be awesome, because right now they hold, what, 9? 18,000? Somewhere in that range. And they only harvest at like 5 miles an hour. You have no idea how much faster that would- The other- the second potato harvester is already almost full. He's gonna be full in five, four, unless he's turning around three, two, one, zero. Nope, never mind. He's made it farther than I thought he would. This f nope, now he's full. This field is 100% fertilized too, so... Who knows, it could be plowed, it could be limed, it could be as fertile as you can get it. So, yeah. I have no idea which direction that harvester's gonna go. I'm gonna try... I guess I'll try going down the left side. This guy will be close to full when he meets up with him anyway, so it's not gonna really affect much. Alrighty, I think we are going to dump the potatoes on the ground and lease a truck after the field's done. Just to speed it up, because I do not think I will make it to a sell point before these guys are full again. So, yeah, let's get in here real quick and hire a worker. We gotta get the trailer down here. We're gonna have a full trailer before that guy's even full. don't like the turning there we go that steering's nice for like backing trailers up and doing stuff with three-point implements that you gotta swing right around on but it's not really needed for road travel or much else like if you want a trailer in a very specific spot that would be great but yeah that would have been nice there but then again, I'm just not used to the steering axles on these trailers. And that's gonna... Nope, that'll hit. I think. Yep. 
and we're going to try and pull away while he's putting that up there and boom so we got a trailer now and we're going to run down to the field and empty out these potato harvesters mm-hmm yeah Alrighty. I will say though this road that we're driving on is not a realistic Michigan road. I mean, if it was a private road, maybe. Like if the farm owned it and they technically used it as their driveway, it might be like that. But you're not going to see that. They're all going to be either dirt or a two-lane marked road. So we're going to... Oh, darn it. This trailer's a little taller than I anticipated. That's one thing about these potato harvesters and sugar bee harvesters, they don't have very tall things. It would be nice if this was sugar beets instead of potatoes, we could go quite a bit faster. Maybe he likes that spot now. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. I can't unload you on the go here. It's not gonna work. Oh my goodness, you were such an idiot. Stop the potato harvester before I fire you. Oh no, this isn't going to work. Okay, he's just about empty, I think. Yeah, he is empty. Get out of here. Get! Where are you? No, 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 no. I forgot about this part. Oh, he's still good. Okay, there's not a big enough gap there yet to stop him. He's going to have to do quite a few headlands, though, so it's not going to help very much. That's going to destroy a little bit on the corners. Yep. Interestingly enough, though, that harvester didn't fill up getting down there. That's kind of interesting. So we'll probably empty both of them right now. Wow, this field's got quite the hill to it. Definitely a Michigan characteristic. Alright, we're gonna park the trailer here. Unhire this guy. Back him up and unload him. Yeah, he definitely didn't get too full there. Try and back up without destroying crop there. Oh man, we are so close. Oh my, this isn't gonna work. And that guy quit on us. Usual FS help. They don't work very much. Shut those beacons off because they're annoying. And there we are. This guy's empty. Gonna keep backing him up. Sure, we're destroying some potatoes, but who cares? I didn't want to do this in the first place, did I? Um. Now we grab this guy and unload him. Oh, this field needs. Does this need it? Maybe. So the field needs plowing. It's one thing we gotta do when we're done. And I think I gotta plow for the job. Alright, unload this dude. Don't know if it'll fill the trailer. I don't think it'll fill it, but it might. Who knows? They are quite a ways away. I'd say over half, but not very far over half down the field than they fill up, so definitely not going to be able to run to a cell point right away. BVH. And I think we might just let that guy sit there until we see which direction he goes. Yeah, look at this hill. Oh man, it's a hill. This guy stuck in reverse. Whoa, man. That's my brand new trailer. Well, I guess I'm driving. I can't blame anybody else. But that's a brand new trailer. Why did I hit it? Alright, so we're gonna ride along with this guy, I think, for a tad bit until we figure out which direction that guy's turning. So just go interior view here and this is what it looks like, harvesting potatoes. I guess. Never actually harvested potatoes with a machine. Just a pitchfork. So yeah, so far so nice. 
It's definitely faster than a pitchfork. Just a little bit. I mean, judging by the amount of potatoes going into the holding spot, I'd say it's going a little bit faster than a pitchfork. But I wouldn't say much. Oh great, he's not turning the direction I hoped. Um, yeah, hopefully we get down there in time. And it's a good thing hired workers aren't scripted to destroy, because, trust me, they would have destroyed. Um, might have to work on headlands first, and now he's stuck me in a spot where I'm gonna have to destroy crops to get out. Wow. Some hired worker you are. Whoa, 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 I did not see that ditch there. I mean, I saw it, but I did not see it. Oh, great. Alright, just a second, guys. Gotta take a thumbnail pic. And... There. Alright, that was not what I expected would happen. Uh, I hope it's not like in 17 where you reset something and it loses everything that's inside of it. I guess we're gonna run over to this guy. We don't really need the third harvester right now, so we're gonna continue this guy down to the end and then we'll rescue that guy when we need him right now we need to work on headlands which is a big deal how did I not see that ditch I guess I thought it was a road because it was kind of the color of pavement don't laugh at me I know everybody is laughing right now going ha 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 you thought it was a road it was actually water yeah I know I thought it was a road but it was actually water can't you see the potato harvester No wonder the guys turned around. I didn't even think about that. Didn't even think to go. I wonder why the guy turned around so far away from the border. Oh, I bet there's water over there. Nope, didn't think about that. Mm, did not think about that at all. So I'm getting turned like this. Not go in the water. And just cut the corner out here. And do this area too. And let's back up as far as we can. Yeah, right there's good. And gonna cut this in. And come in here. Just try and turn around without sinking the machine like we did the last one. And I'm ki actually kind of trying to run a line back down this way. Without destroying stuff with our tracks on the back. So we'll probably go interior view for this. And yeah, not too bad there. Mmm, not too bad. At least we lined up on the right side. Oh shoot, he's already almost full. You've got to be kidding me. No, 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 no. I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit C to go into third person and V's right next to it. Oh yeah, just that slit. I can't even go into third person anyway because all these trees. Mm. That didn't do me any good. Yeah, these harvesters hold just over 9,000 liters, so. And they fill up quick. Look at that. Our thing's already almost full. I think I'm gonna work on half the field right now, and then work on the other half. Maybe in the next episode, or off screen, or something, and I am full. So I'm gonna attempt to pull over in this forest here. So we can get the JCB in here and unload it. I think we're going to be able to if I don't hit a tree. That might work. Alright, tamp. Look at that. Oh, I shut it off. Alright, let's get moving, shall we? This trailer hold... I guess the harvesters don't hold as much as I anticipated. If this was 17, I would drive straight across those potatoes. But since this is 19 and crop destruction works, I'm not going to drive across that 
So yeah. I wonder if you can go in with the landscaping and raise all that water up. And then uh, make that into two fields. I'm not going to try it obviously because I've had bad luck with landscaping lately. But yeah. That would be an interesting thing. Maybe we can do that on the side. Just a standalone video. Can you landscape a river into a field? That would be the title. And the answer would be, absolutely not, it turns into a disaster. But, I don't think, yeah, that would happen. I don't know why I'm saying I don't think. But, this is, I guess this is going okay. If you just ignore the fact that we, that I, not we, that I sunk a harvester in the water, then we can say it's going good. But, since I can't ignore that fact, and I'm about to hit my JCB, you know. This is an interesting wedgie to get out of. And we're started back up. I'm just trying to get this dude over here around the other side. And I just raised it up, didn't I? Yes, I did. Forgot it was already down. So let's just get this sucker around the corner here. Or... I guess we'll just go straight. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. And work on this straight section. Split the field up into sections. So now hire him. Um, like other guy's probably almost full, isn't he? Um, tab over this guy. Start him up, and I'll work on headlands on this half while that dude's going up and down. Uh, no, he's not gonna work on that, is he? Oh my. What is a what is a disaster? So we do gotta wait for him to get down here. So I guess in the meantime, we can reset that harvester. Reset. Where's the reset point? It's probably up at the store. This is. Let's see if the stuff's no. Ugh! Just lost like some potatoes. I don't know how much it was. I think it was like a thousand liters, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, we just lost that. It's already got 0.2 hours on this machine. Jeez. Um, I guess we could pretty much save on the video until the harvesters get 0.3 hours, because they're not going to be not stopped running. I just realized I had my phone with me the entire time. I could have been keeping track of time, but I didn't. Is he down there yet? Almost there. He's almost Look at that, nine's not even a big field, really. I mean, well, I don't know. Three's pretty big, 15, 16's definitely big. And he's probably not even going to make it to the end of the field. There he is. Oh, we can beat him. Let's race him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't even make it. Oh, he did make it. He just doesn't want to turn around in the right spot. I better tab to him then before he screws something up. I want to make it all the way up there. I don't want to destroy much. And yeah, he's pretty much got to go very far. Very, very far. You got to do a lot of headlands. Jeez. And I am aware that this guy's probably going to hit the fast track going back. I think. Did I not make that trim line straight? Great. Now we're going to have a crooked field. Oh. What an excellent time to fill up. Never mind. JCB's not going to be in the way. I can't keep three harvesters going to save my life. So we're going to have one harvester running on this side, one harvesting on the other, while I'm doing headlands on both ends of the f well, doing headlands on one end and then moving down to the other end. So yeah, hopefully this works. Hopefully is the key word there. Might as well just do headlands along the whole end. It's not like it's gonna save me any time just doing the small sections. 
No, don't. No, no, I hate that. Seriously. I'm not even going to unload you because I don't think I have enough storage in me trailer. So I'm going to run over across the road to our new farmyard. And I'm going to dump it in a pile. Wasn't there a barn right there in the picture? Hmm. That's interesting. There was a barn there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's keep this thing upright, alright? And control I. Just dump it all on the ground. I like now that once it reaches the max amount that can go in one space, it doesn't, uh... Um... What's the word for it? Go back down. Make sort of like a ramp effect here so that we can easily get back up and build the pile up instead of long. Because there's going to be quite the pile. Oh yes, there's going to be quite the pile. Come on, get moving, tractor. IT runner, put a max speed you can go while dumping. That's great. Oh, so many things, so many things. But we are making some progress. We got two little stripes down the field. If you want to call that progress, you can. I'm not. I'm just going to call it a lot of work for very little. Or a trailer full of potatoes. These potato harvesters don't like the traditional way of unloading, just sitting still and waiting. But I guess that's fine. He's probably filling as fast as he can unload. Alright, and he's empty. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. Let's get this harvester down there. Quickly! As fast as 15 mile an hour can take us. It's not very fast. But I think it is almost time to wrap up this episode. I'm going to start this harvester and then check our time. And the reason why I'm doing sections is, uh, I just don't really know. I'm just doing sections. But, you know, not really a reason. I just don't want to look at a whole field and, well, I guess so I can keep the harvesters kind of close to each other. It'll make unloading them a heck of a lot easier. So yeah, I'm just gonna run that guy, hire him. You guys can sit there and watch him while I check. Yeah, it is definitely time to wrap up the video. So anyway, 